Hello everyone, excellent evening to everyone of us. We're highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. How are we? I hope we're doing well. All right. Excellent evening and well, it's a little bit past midweek, but I, I just believe we're all doing good. Well, today we're going to be looking at mindset. Remember, as we said that on Thursdays, we are going to be looking at other areas of life, of wellness, of health, not just about our physical health. So we are all highly welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you joined me and you can say good evening, so I can also greet good evening. Today's one is going to be very brief. In 30 minutes, we should be done. And I want Thursdays to be like 30, at most 45 minutes, and we are done. So I want to quickly share on my page so you can join me. Hello, Ngozi Mekeo. Welcome. Angie Mekeo, welcome to this evening's broadcast. Thank you for joining me. And early again. <laughs> Angie is usually one of the first to come up live. All right. So we again is online. You can greet. So I can greet you this evening. This evening, we are going to be looking at our mindsets, our mindsets, you know, how do we develop these mindsets that can actually help and make sure that we have, we have the best of life that we ought to have. So we're all highly welcome as we share, 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 share. Let's share it. Hello, come or laugh. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are we? I hope you're doing great. So we're going to be looking at mindset this evening. Okay, I'm just trying to share in all the groups where I belong. So kindly also join to share so that we can get going this evening just about five of them and then we are through hello Deborah Ojo you're welcome welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome how are you doing hope your week is going on well hope all of us hope our week is going on very well it's already late in the uh, evening and um, I hope we're having a great time a great evening with our families um, remember that we said that the majority we carry the vote, so the majority voted for 8 to 9, and that's why we are here 8 to 9 today. So our broadcast sessions will change from 5 to 6 to 8 to 9, so you can tell your friends, you can also share, so that in the evening when we are all relaxed, we are able to just watch and, you know, actually have all the fun we need to have. So we are highly welcome, welcome, welcome as we look at the five mindsets we need to develop to be successful this year. The five mindsets we need to develop to be able to achieve all our goals this year. The five mindsets we need to develop to be able to be the winner that God has made us to be. The five mindsets that we need to develop to be able to climb higher the ladder in any area of life. It's something that... Um, will I say that it's helping me? Yeah, it has been and it is and I'm learning more and more from it every day. Okay, so um, I've just shared to the last group. So I will just greet us and then we get going this morning. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome Florence. Welcome Jennifer. Welcome Elizabeth. We are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. I will be able to see us now and and um, all right. I hope I saw everyone. Okay, Margaret Abba, you're welcome also to this evening's broadcast. Okay. Um Hi, good evening, Akerele Janet. You're welcome. Welcome, Elizabeth. We're all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. All right, so we get going today. We get going today as we move on ahead. You know, um, when you look at like one, if you want to say what is the single factor that makes all these, let me put in quotes. Um, very successful people, 
they talk about the richest people they talk about the most successful people what's the single factor that you can see in every one of them it doesn't matter the tribe they come from it doesn't matter whom they are you know i think that that's one singular factor is mindset they have the same types of mindset you know because what you think is actually what you become whatever you think is actually what you become your mindset plays a very important role in your whole life talk about health talk about wealth talk about emotions talk about happiness your mindset plays one of the most very very important role because you know mindset actually refers to attitude you have about life generally what is your attitude about life generally okay and um talking about internal dialogue thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the love oh margaret you didn't know the time had changed oh sorry 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 ah you're not getting notification you should be getting notification from facebook now you can click on follow if you're not following already so it's mindset is also about internal dialogue thank you for the love it's like the ongoing conversation you have i have you know with our mind you know that's the driving force behind every success story and also behind every failure that's internal dialogue you know you have it it comes it's every day you have it with your with yourself with your mind is in you you have it so you know because the difference between you who you are now and who you want to be in the future is your mindset your mindset determines whom you are now and whom you're going to be in the future so once you start to change your mindset to the positive mindset of some of those that we're going to be discussing today you will immediately start to change your behavior your 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 behavior your outlook to life will just suddenly begin to change for example if you're excited about your job if you're excited about your business or um, if you dread the thought of having to go to work or about going to business that's what we talk about what we mean by mindset hello jenny baby you're welcome welcome stella you know to this evening's broadcast today we're looking at the five mindsets we need to adopt to excel you know and actually become the best we need to be if you are excited about your job you, it will influence your productivity if you're if you dread the job you're not happy about it it will also you know influence your productivity you know another question you need to ask yourself after asking yourself are you excited about your job are you excited about your business and then another thing is are you you know happy about you with your accomplishments so far in that business are you happy with your accomplishments so far or do you feel like you you, you 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 got cheated somewhere along the way you know so it's easy to obtain a negative attitude when you're living in this world that is filled with all some forms of distress all forms of hardship you know it's very very easy for you to to lean towards it like i can remember when i was trying to register my school for government approval all those all those things it was really the the, the this the, the what would I call the situation, the circumstance, the environment was really, really horrible. There are things that one will not come out here and be talking about. So initially I started following it like you know, I was so dis disenchanted with all those people, disgruntled and and things were not moving. You see, so that's what happens to us. There are certain things you cannot change about your environment, about things that are happening. Don't bother getting yourself worked up about them. That was what I was doing to myself. Until I came to the realization that, look, you cannot change these people. You cannot change these people. I don't want to call them. All the people who are involved. So the best thing is get yourself to work through and get what you want and just get out of this place, you know. So by the time I had that change of mindset concerning the pursuit of registration of my school, concerning the people around there, concerning the people I meet every day. In fact, in those days, anytime I arrived the town where we need to do the 
paperwork and I just change, you know, because already I'm already so disgruntled, I'm already unhappy with them. And so even the way I'll greet them, the way I'll treat them, the way I'll, it's, you know, until I changed. And I had to tell myself, you know what, you cannot do this process all life. It's only for a period of time. Just be happy. Don't even let them know you're not happy with them. Just do what you need to do and get out. So that's the same thing. This world is filled with so much stress, so much hardship, people around you and things like that. Don't allow them to influence you. Because each day brings with it new struggles and challenges that we must face. And so your attitude has a huge impact on how well you deal with these challenges your attitude by the time i changed my attitude and i started smiling even though i knew that all those smiles were like mm, let them not just influence me let me keep them outward okay i'm not smiling because of them i'm smiling because of me i'm not happy because of them i'm happy because of me i'm not joyful because of them i'm joyful because of me so that just changed things so having actually having a negative mindset draws in negative energy when you have negative mindset, it will draw negative energy. And that will prevent you from truly enjoying life. Okay? Reduce negative energy. Not just because of the people. Not just people because of people around you, but because of you. Why? Like attracts like. When you're filled with um, all those negative emotions, this negative feeling, you attract situations like that attract circumstances like that attract people like that but when you leave off the things of this world let them just let if I, let the world be as it is but me <laughs> i'll be happy all the way i'll be happy all the same i'll be happy you know and then that joy will attract joy that um, happiness will attract happiness okay so if your mind is thinking about bad things crabby thoughts then you're going to attract more crabby things happening in your life. Like attracts light. Be joyful so that joy will come. Be happy so that happiness will come. Be positive so that positive things will come. Okay? Alright, so we're going to be looking at five habits that will radically improve your business. If it's a business, radically improve your work. Ra radically improve your your success is in life. Well, we're going to look very briefly at five of them. That's what we're doing today, and then we call it a day. But of course, you know, uh, in Aging with Grace, Aging with Grace, my name is Ngozi Achoma. It's a one-stop shop for where you use, where you will learn very, very, you know, natural things we can use to live healthily. We can use to become the best, rejuvenate, and actually elongate our life. And our mind is one of those areas. If you have a negative mindset, if you have a mindset that is disgruntled, that is unhappy, do not disturb. So someone called and is trying to distract us. That's all right. So, so that's it. So the first mindset you need to develop this year is what I call self-trust and positive mindset. Self-trust. You know, to do anything great, you have to be able to trust yourself and believe in your capabilities. You must trust yourself and believe in your capabilities. You know, one thing we should know is that nobody was born knowing everything. You know, some people will say, ah, no, I can't do it. In fact, you can go and put it that one of the statements you will remove from your dictionary this year is, I can't. Please. Find where I can't is in your life's dictionary and delete it. <laughs> what did I say? Delete it. I can remember there was a, a little girl when we were, when in those days when we were doing church and we were doing a lot of deliverances and sometimes we would spend time on one person doing deliverance all night. That little girl came one day and said, ah, why are we wasting so much time? It, this throughout this night we're just talking um binding and casting demon binding and casting demon why don't you just type demons and you just you know select it and press delete and it's gone <laughs> so i wanted to just say if type i can't 
like that little girl advice and and select her and press delete and delete it out of your dictionary because you, the bible even says i can do all things through christ that strengtheneth me i can do all things so you must have that self trust you must believe in yourself you must have that positive mind that you can do it let me tell you there are a lot we can achieve but because of our mindset of i can't we are not able to do it okay so success is not something that just happens but it's something you create it's something you create if you read um rich dad poor dad or if you read them um, um there's this book by napoleon hill okay if you read those books you will find out that it's like whatever you believe whatever you trust you attract your subconscious will begin to you know work on them and they will attract so believe in yourself you have to be confident to be able to banish every negative voice in your head all those voices that are telling you you cannot do it you're not learned enough you did not go to school your family cannot you are not coming from a family that can help you all those thoughts that come up you need to you need you need to be confident in yourself that you can do this thing and you'll be able to do it and then you don't have to give up on things you believe in in fact me i have one policy if i'm chasing something i will chase it to the very end until then even up to the last second i will still try my best i will still put in my energy even when other people have given up i'll still be doing it and I found out with time that people give up just when they are about to break through. Okay, so you just have to have that self-confidence. You just have to have that positive mind that will be able to remove every negative voice that is calling your way. And then you don't give up. You don't give up. You don't give up. In fact, in my business, there's something we always tell people are something they, they've trained us with. They said you will not fail or you will always succeed or succeed if you don't give up you will always succeed if you don't give up and once you give up you can't succeed okay but once you don't give up you keep on keeping up you will always succeed so you need to choose to be positive and having that good attitude and that good will which will determine a lot behind your life if you set your mind to positivity, it can go a long, long way. So you need to be positive. You need to be positive and not passive. Now, when we talk about being positive and not passive, you won't just say, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, and you're doing anything. Positivity, positive mind comes with action. So instead of giving up on yourself, you know, or giving reasons why you can't, why you shouldn't, give yourself reasons why you can and also permission to go for it you need to give yourself that permission i don't know what it is that you failed in last year feeling that is because of you like look let me tell you put it set it again aside as something you need to accomplish in 2022 and we will work together to make sure you succeed in it it is time for us to believe in ourselves it is time for us to believe we can do it. There are a lot of people that um, have come in to join me and they say, yeah, no, me, I don't know how to market. I don't know how to do network marketing. I don't know how to chase people up and down. And I tell them, I say, I'm one of the most reserved human beings on earth. And I'm telling you, but you will never believe it. It's those who are very, very close that we know. And a few people who call me when I'm out of the office. <laughs> they say, ah, what is wrong? That's me. That's me. But I've worked on myself. I believe in myself. I have this self-trust. I have this positive mindset that, that I can do all things. And I go ahead and I do it. And I just found out that one step at a time, God will keep leading me, you know, removing all those things that would make me not to do it. So one of the basic mindsets that can radically improve your business radically improve your life radically improve your business radically improve your work radically grant you that promotion that you need is having self-trust mindset and positive mindset combine be positive and believe in yourself i tell you you can do it 
I tell you, you can do it. I tell you, you are great. You are wonderfully and fearfully made by God and you can make it. And my prayer for you today is that you will live to realize that in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the second mindset is a goal setting mindset. Goal setting mindset. Last week, Thursday, we talked about setting your, your long term goal and then your short term goal. And we talked about taking that like one year goal and splitting it into months, into weeks, you know. So, knowing what you want and willingly, you know, willing yourself to reach it are two different things, okay? You can know what you want, but you're not willing to achieve it. So if you know what you want and you're not willing to achieve it, how will you achieve it? Like for example, you can give yourself this year that you want to buy a new car for yourself. That's a goal. I want a new car. How do I get that new car? Okay? So if your goal is to get to have a new car, then you need to set it as a goal. You need to motivate yourself. You need to challenge yourself. And you need to hold on to it and it will not change. Or maybe it's like you want to start a new business. That's the goal of 2022. And that you're going to make so, so, and so amount of money from it. 2020, before we enter 2021, I set up a very, very high goal for myself. I don't want to call figures here. But you know, I wanted to be able to touch some real huge amount of money going through me and going through my business. It looks impossible, but I set that goal and I set out to achieve it. And I put what I will do every month, what I will do every week, and thank God to the glory of God, I was able to even go higher than that. I'm into network marketing. Yes, that's the business I do. And I tell you, that's the best business now. That's the 21st century business. Because that's what will set you rolling. That's what will give you passive income. Okay? That's what will give you passive income if you do it the right way. And I'm here to help you to do it the right way. Don't forget about it. Some people say, ah, no, I don't want to talk to people. You only talk to people if you don't know what to talk to people about. Let me give you an example. Now, you, 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 you have a, a, a hairdresser, okay? Or you even have a, a tailor. Let's take it that way. I have a tailor that makes my, or tailors, okay? I have the ones that make the casual clothes. I have the ones that make the party or wedding, like my son is about to wear. I've already gone to the tailor that will make it because she makes occasion clothes for me i have the ones that make the one i use at home makes the one i use at home i have another you know like that so many times that lady that makes the occasional clothes for me when i wear people will say oh i like this who is your tailor i'll just tell them i'll give the number that's network marketing there's nothing nothing in it it's because the way people you know have it in quotes what are my business that's what it is i come out here and i tell you what has helped me if you listen to me on Monday, I'll tell you about my life, how it has improved, how it has helped me. And I tell you, each time I finish, I have tens and twenties, many people telling me. Now, it didn't start with all those people per day. Okay, Aging with Grace page nine is like 43,000 going to 44,000 people in the team. It started with only 10 people in that Aging with Grace. There are only very few people like Ngozi Mekena who must have been there maybe when we were about a thousand or a thousand two. You know, Ngozi Meke is there. She would have seen how we have grown. Okay, so that is network marketing. That is, you, you, you tell people the benefit of what has helped you. Okay, now, uh, okay, my company <laughs> just brought out these two products. Shampoo and conditioner. Very lovely. In fact, I kept it on my table. I just looked and saw it. I kept it on my table because it's one of the best aroma I've ever, you know, perceived. When they even brought it back two days ago, I'm like, hey, what's, uh, which perfume? I was asking the guy that bought it, which perfume did you put on? He now said, I want me perfume. I now looked and saw that it was this smelly. So I've kept it on my table there. Okay, now this is Yoyoba shampoo and Yoyoba conditioner. I've used this for like five years now. I used to use it. Maybe I'll finish one in two years because I wasn't uh, growing my hair. But COVID came and I had one goal and that goal was to grow my hair. So I started using this too. That was the old version. This is the new version now. Now, the aroma is so, so lovely. I'm going to use it to wash my hair. What has it done? It has grown my hair. My hair is not cutting. It's very, very thick. It's very, very full. It's very, very nice. And so I've used this shampoo now and it's good for me. 
All right, my daughter is into hair. She has her own page where she does her hair and she showcases all these things. So she shows people sometimes um, wash hair and do all that, you know, and all the natural things that can help. Well, well, people are looking for help. There are people who are looking for how to grow their hair. You know, you, you learn what can help them and you help them and they will ask you and they will keep by. There's no day even lying on my bed. In fact, the other day my husband was like, hmm, now why? I like this your business. So many times when I'm answering you, when I'm talking with you, as long as I'm not presenting, I'm lying on my bed. I don't have a shop. I don't have a shop anywhere. My store is not, the, the company already provides the product for me, manufactures the product for me, does the career for me. Anytime people want things outside Lagos, it's my company. I tell, okay, I just make the order, they package it, they send it to the people. Can you see? So it's a company that has made everything so easy for you. All you have to do is showcase the benefits. So that's the 21st century business. Okay, so I came up last year and I set that goal. Because for you to succeed in this business, you need that goal-setting mindset. Set high goals and don't stop until you reach them. Don't stop until you reach them. I had, um, last year, I had a, a, a number of, we call, we, our currency in our business is, is, is in points, case credit. I had a number of case credit I wanted to achieve last year and I achieved it. And I achieved more than that because I set that high goal. It's something I've not done in a long time. Okay. And I set that goal and I pursued it and I got it. And it's a company where once you achieve what you're supposed to achieve, they actually, you know, give you, say thank you to you in big ways. And that's what they've been doing to us. Fat, 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 fat bonuses every month. So, you know, um, for you to achieve the high goals, you know, you also need to set smaller goals that are like stepping stones to that big goal, okay? So you take time to set small, frequent goals. I don't know what your goal is, but I know that this year I have set it out that I want to help 100 women and men begin to end the way I am. You know, my company picks you up as nothing and it makes you a millionaire, from a millionaire to multi-millionaire. Two Thursdays ago, I showed us the first time I made one million naira in the business. They called us, gave, gave us dinner, and they gave us that plaque that you have made one million. And it's been, you know, growing and growing and growing. So you set all this, that large goal, and then you set it out into like smaller goals and also frequent goals. And then you reward yourself each time you achieve any one. So the best way to do it is to write out your big goal, okay? What is your big goal? I have my book now. This is my, my, my book for my business. You can see colors. All these colors are like goals and things I want to achieve. I can just give you a glimpse. I have do or die. I surrender 100% to the Lord. I, and I also wrote one day at a time. And then I have my goals. If you can read it, we're 1,000 souls for the Lord. And then I put 2.5K case credit, things like that. So that's my goal. And then when you open up the page, the front page will now give me details. Some of the details of the goal. So I write them down. And then every month, I now come out and I set out monthly. And I pieces it from month to weekly, from weekly to daily. And I assess myself every day. So the best way, like I said, is to write out that big lofty goal. And under that big goal, you list out the many goals you need to hit in order to make that big goal happen. And then you put dates next to those many goals, okay? And focus on each step by setting aside non-negotiable, realistic blocks of time, okay? And then you work with dates, working dates with them to get them all done so that's number two and then the third thing you need is patient mindset and focused mindset you need to be patient now we started the year and the year is moving a little slowly i'm not like i'm not agitated i know it will be okay why because my company will teach you the system we have a workable system and especially my team we have tried those system for long and we know they are working so we teach you that system and you just stay on that system. Give it time. 
it will work out and that's why i'm not bothered a lot of people are paying school fees this january so people are not actually concentrating on buying 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 so but it's not getting me agitated okay so be patient and have a focused mindset there is a fine line actually between moving forward and standing still and the most successful people on earth do all they can to move forward but they also have that patience to wait and watch okay so those who are impatient tend to lose out on great opportunities. Sometimes you have to wait for the right time and also wait with a focused mindset. Because one of the setbacks that can ever happen in, is when you lose focus and you allow procrastination to set in. You know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to stay focused and stay disciplined, but you need to cultivate that mindset of being focused remove every distractions from your way distraction waste times and procrastination will keep you from moving forward so i wake up every morning i take up my book and i look at the goal for the day and i set up to start doing it no procrastination and one thing that helps me is doing the most difficult things early in the morning so you start by doing the most difficult things okay discipline also is the bridge between your goals and the accomplishment that's the truth discipline is the bridge that will take you from those high goals that those daily goals those weekly goals to accomplishment you need to be disciplined to take it up okay and the mindset of focus will build that bridge discipline is the bridge and having a focused mindset i am focused what's my goal my goal this year is to be able to reach 1000 new women and men giving them the best health they can ever get that's my focus so that's what i want to do this year one thousand new not those who are with me or that are we talk one-on-one -on -one, and they will buy products for me and they will start buying products i'm having good health now if we're talking about getting people into my page i want to raise another sixty thousand men and women to come and follow aging with grace that's doubling us and adding on top of it so you need to have those big goals set them out i've set them out according to the month how it's going to be all right so the fourth one fourth mindset remember we're looking at the five mindsets that can help you to achieve the best we say the first one is self-trust and positive mindset the second one is goal setting mindset the third one is patient and focused mindset the fourth one is courageous mindset doing anything great requires courage but fear always have a way okay of showing up so courage does not mean being unafraid though courage does not mean absence of fear but having courage and showing courage means facing your fears Bam. you face them and saying i'm scared though and but i am moving forward anyway <laughs> courage is like a muscle you must you know strengthen with use okay so that's it like this morning i wasn't feeling the best but because i know that i must go live i have to discipline myself do what i'm supposed to do courage and i faced the video this morning so i've won i'm a winner <laughs> so that's how it happens then the fifth and final mindset we're going to look at today is the learning mindset just because you're struggling that doesn't mean you're not learning okay every failure in fact has something to teach you and everything you learn helps you to grow if you failed, there is a lesson. I always ask, what's the appointment in this disappointment? That's what I always ask. So if you're unwilling to learn, no one can ever help you if you're unwilling to help. So if you're, but if you're determined to learn, no one can stop you. If you're unwilling to learn, no one can help you. But if you're determined to learn, no one can stop you. Because even in this business, I invite you, chat me, I'll put my, 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 my number on the screen now chat me if you have failed in network marketing before i tell you you will not fail this one you're not going to fail in this one just chat me on my whatsapp number and i'll tell you how you can make it because that's the truth about it you know my number is plus two three four i'm putting it on the screen now plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two okay 
So plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. And I'm going to pin it now. If you fail the network marketing before, then I don't care what their name is, even if it's forever business before, leave it off. Join me and I will show you how you can succeed. And that's what I mean by that learning mindset. If you're willing to learn, if you're willing to learn, then forget it. You are a winner. You are so a success already, okay? Because actually, one thing I also realized is that if you make effort to gain something from each setback, you will learn from it. So, you can learn from a bad teacher and you can learn from a good teacher. So, failure is a bad teacher that you can learn from. I learned that every loss is a win. And if you, that's if you let it be. If you let it be, every loss you've had is a win. So if you've experienced failure before, don't let it beat you. Come join me and I will show you how you can succeed in all those things. Brush yourself off, analyze what happened, and determine how you can do things differently in the future, and then you move on. That's what will determine your ability to be successful. It's not your wins. It's how you handle your losses. That's what makes you a successful person. And let's remember... Every great success requires some kind of struggle. And good things really do come to those who work hard and who struggle to pursue their goal and dreams that they believe in. Do you believe you can succeed? Are you looking for an extra stream of income in 2022? Are you looking for that boof up that can help you? I'm here to help you and I promise you, you will make it. Be willing to learn. Be willing to set your goals. Be willing to follow your goals. I have a lot of people I've already helped. Who, in fact, there's a lady that used to work in a bank. And then by the time they laid them off, I got to know her and she joined my business. Today, she's not working in any bank and she's earning more money than she was earning from the bank. I have several women like that. Those who are abroad, who are looking for second stream of income, who maybe now they are working from home and they've cut down their salaries. I have a number of people like that that are helping and they are using this business to put more better life to their life. What are you waiting for? Don't sit down there and say, hey, I can't do it. I can't do it. You can do it. I will help you to do it. I will help you to make it. So the radical change your life. To radically change your life, you need to change yourself. Start building new mindset today. Start building a mindset of self-will, of positive and self-confidence. A mindset of goal-setting. A mindset of patience and being focused. A mindset of courage. A mindset of learning. And move towards that goal. And God will help you. So don't fail to chat me. I'll just greet us and we call it a day because I have another program I need to prepare for online now. So I'll just quickly, if there's any question, I'll quickly answer that question and then we'll call it a day. But if it's greedy, hello, Deborah. Hello, Jenny, baby, Stella, Grace, you're welcome. Blessing, you're welcome. Stella, okay, you're welcome. Momo Uche, you're welcome. Olukemi, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Ngozi Meke, thank you. Doris Femi, good evening. Sarah Dare, you're welcome. Elizabeth Estemark, welcome. Komola Fenena Albert, you're welcome. Hello, Oladi Meji, Lucy Chibuzo, um, you're welcome, welcome. Okay, yes, you're a winner. Ah, ha, ha. Komola Femi, let me please join me. I'm telling you. And again, you know, I forgot to say, this is a good time to start in my company. Two weeks ago, I showed us all the places I've traveled with. January is the starting point for that game, okay? I call it a game. I come into it as a game. And when we win, we win and we travel. And I'm willing to travel with all of you. There are a lot of people online today. They join me in this business and let's travel together by next year as the company takes us around the world for winning. All right, go worry. You want to do it? Chat me on my WhatsApp number that is screen. Go worry. You already have my chat, uh, my, my WhatsApp number. Janet Foods, you're welcome. Fateman Barbara, you're welcome. Thank you for joining me. Evelyn Mode, welcome. So you can share this video, please. I'm, I'm asking you to share it. There are a lot of women who need to hear these things. If you have a friend who has been looking for a new job, looking for 
don't waste your time looking for white collar job you can make it I, I in this my business i know how many people are paying from the profit i know how many projects i'm doing and you know the beautiful thing i sit right inside my house <laughs> lying on my bed most of the time sitting lying whatever i want i do anyhow okay i'm not nobody says tells me when to wake up mm -mm. i wake up when i want to wake up nobody tells me when to sleep i sleep when i want to sleep. nobody you know you have your life in your hand and you do with it whatever you like i love you all thank you just chat me on my whatsapp number and we'll take it from there See you on Saturday. Saturday, we are going to really do some stretches. Okay, I'll teach you some stretches. We talk about it and we practice it and we dance, stretch. Mm -hmm. See you on Saturday. God bless you. Love you.